This presentation will show how to model and excavate a contaminant in three steps within the RockWorks playlist. We'll start by creating a surface model based on the borehole collar elevations within the samples database. This is accomplished by selecting the borehole map option from the borehole operations maps menu. Check the surface contours option and Set the name of the grid to be created to groundsurface.rw.grd. Click on the Playlist button and type in Create Surface Model when prompted for an item title. Select the Solid option from the Borehole Operations iData menu. Set the name of the solid model that is to be created to lead.rwmod. Set the track to be modeled as lead. Select the Playlist option and enter Create Lead Model as the name for this item. Next, select the Extract via Surface Excavation option from the Mod Ops Volume menu. Please note that selecting the Open button for the input files is not an option because these files don't exist yet. Instead, you'll need to manually type in the name of the ground surface grid the contaminant model, which is lead.rwmod, the final excavation pit, and the model which shows what can be extracted given the soon-to-be-described filters. Click on the Thresholds and Filters tab. The lower threshold defines the minimum lead value to be excavated. The upper threshold doesn't really apply, so set it to a very high value. The maximum slope determines how steep the walls of the excavation will be. Minus 90 will produce a pit with vertical edges. Minus 10 will produce a much larger pit with gentle slopes. Check the box labeled Add Benches and set the bench width and height to 10 meters. There are plenty of other options, but we're trying to limit this video to a reasonable duration. So let's continue by selecting the Playlist option. Type in Extract Lead Greater Than 3 ppm when prompted for the item title. Now, if you click on the Playlist tab, you'll see the three items that you just created. Click the Process Playlist button and the program will create the surface model, the lead model, the extraction pit, and a volumetric report. You can examine and or change any of the settings within the playlist items by double-clicking on an item title. This will show all of the settings for that particular program. In this way, you can iteratively tweak the settings to get exactly what you want. Now you'll have a template that can be applied to other projects as well as a recipe that shows how you did it.